Well, lung cancer is by far the leading cause of cancer deaths in the U.S. It accounts for about one in five of all cancer deaths. That's according to the American Cancer Society. I spoke with a patient who recently went through lung cancer treatments and the warning she shares to smokers. That's when I started smoking, I was uh, 16 years old. Cheryl White, now 73 years old, said the effects of smoking caught up with her after all those years. This coming February will be two years since she was diagnosed with lung cancer, found during a cancer screening at Riverside Regional Medical Center in Newport News. But I was scared. And my children were frightened. Cheryl underwent surgery and different types of treatments, all of which had to be aborted due to several circumstances. I ended up getting um, radiation pneumonitis. Now she goes for routine CT scans, the most recent scan coming back negative. It's like, it's tearful. Um, both my husband and I both, you know, just kind of hug each other and say, well, we did it for another three months. I'm not ready leave my grandchildren and my children yet. Cheryl stressing the importance of lung cancer screenings. I think anybody that has smoked or been around someone that smoked sh should have it. To screen effectively for lung cancer is by low dose CT screening. Dr. Bruce Waldholtz with the American Cancer Society saying these scans are crucial to preventing cancer. If you were 50 years old up to 80 and have had that pack year exposure of 20 pack years, even if you have quit years ago, more than 15 years ago even, you should you still qualify for CAT scan screening and should talk with your physician. Cheryl White says she's seen the negative impacts of lung cancer on her own family. Her sister died in 2021. She had been diagnosed uh, the year before with cancer, lung cancer. Cheryl offering this warning to smokers. Stop now while you've got a chance. I'm Jay Green, News 3.